Hi everyone! Okay, um, this is going to be a mini review of the products uh, that I have on for my work makeup today, as you can see. Okay, um, I'm sorry but the lighting may not be as good, so most likely after the video I will do some editing on YouTube itself. But anyway, this is in conjunction with the um, giveaway, 5 days, what is that? 5 day giving? I don't know, but it's basically organized by Essence cosmetics Singapore uh, whereby they are going to give away uh, essence products starting from tomorrow and uh, one of the requirements is that we have to do a review of the products that we used or we like so anyway I do intend to do it <laughs> just that this this giveaway came and I want to be involved and I want to take part in it so first of all this is um, the makeup that I wore to work today so and this makeup is actually for okay I have this on since um, I think about 7 plus in the morning and uh, you can see that most of it okay, let me adjust a little the makeup is still quite mm, visible okay so the few products that I'm gonna share with you are mainly the essence products because this is a review for the essence products that I, that I wore to work and also more or less I've been using very frequently I would say Okay, so the first thing that I will want to talk to you about is the Essence Mattifying Compact Powder that looks like this. Okay, the color that I have is in 04 Perfect Beige. Okay, for this compact, actually I shattered it and um, kind of pressed it back. <laughs> okay, so this is a very mattifying powder. Okay, it's very smooth, very fine. Not sure whether the camera will catch anything, but... But basically, this powder itself does work well to contain my oiliness. Although now you can see there's still some sort of like shine. And um, this is the step that I will do um, after I apply my BB cream to set the BB cream and also to mattify the skin a little. But usually after mattifying, it does make your skin look kind of flat as in too matte. So after that, I'll apply some blush and bronzer. But for today, the blush and bronzer which I use is not under essence, so I'm not going to talk about it. Okay. But last part, I really like this powder because it does mattify your skin, okay? And um, it's very fine, it's very, very smooth. Um, the only thing that I would maybe want, uh, I would like to ask for in this palette would be maybe give me a sponge. <laughs> you know, it doesn't come with a sponge. Uh, and it doesn't have a compartment for a sponge anyway. But other than that, I think I will still repurchase this. Uh, I cannot remember the price offhand, so I will list the price information in the information bar below. So this is the first product I'm going to talk about for this video. Okay, the next thing I'm going to talk about is basically something very obvious that is the eyeliner that I'm using. It's a liquid eyeliner and I just got this recently and I started, honestly this is my first time using this and I would say I'm really really satisfied with it because it is the Essence Liquid Eyeliner Waterproof. It looks like this. I don't think my camera will focus so basically uh, if you want to see close-up shots of this product, I will put a link to the corresponding blog post that I have where the pictures are being blown up. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so uh, honestly, I haven't got a good camera, so bear a bit for now. So this says that it is a liquid eyeliner for high definition eye contours, and it is waterproof. So this is a very small little eyeliner. Today is my first day using it. Okay, and it has a very pointy, sharp. Uh, sharp tip, but it is felt tip, so it is quite flexible and it's very intense dark intense dark, it's very intense black and it does dry off rather fast I would say and it dries off matte Okay, and um, honestly I can do quite a good um, wing if I want to with this because the control is there, because it's felt tip um, and the best part is because the makeup on on my face has been on me for definitely more than 12 hours i think it is hitting one two three it's hitting 15 hours okay and my, i didn't have any eye primer today so my eyelids are super oily even you can see that <coughs> the eyeshadow is already starting to show signs of creasing but the eyeliner has not blushed of course there are some areas of the eyeliner that seem to have worn off that's because I have very watery or teary eyes. I tend to like do this, dab, <laughs> dab off the, <coughs> the tears. So usually if an eyeliner is not good, as in it does kind of like, you know, if it is not waterproof, once I do this, that's it. The eyeliner will be staining all over my hand. 
so this does not budge at all. In fact, I'm also very impressed with the eyelash, not eyelash, the mascara that I use, which is the Daiso product. I did a review before. Um, I will post down the link of the review. <coughs> but basically, the buds. Oh, okay, not to divert. Okay, sorry, sorry. So anyway, focus on the essence product. <laughs> so this essence product, uh, I would say it is really waterproof, and it is definitely able to withstand the oil and the teary eye that I have. So I will highly recommend. Although this is only the first time that I'm using, but I think it is really, really good. Okay, it is definitely very cheap and affordable compared to most of the other uh, products in the drugstore, so called Watsons or the beauty chains or whatever that's available. Of course, I have not tried many, but I think this is really good. Okay, then the the last product that I'm going to talk about for today or for this video in particular would be uh, the lip product. Not sure whether you can see clearly because it's kind of dark. Okay, so this is the lip color that I have. Yeah, so this, oops, I need to adjust my lighting, my artificial lighting. <laughs> Just give me a minute, okay. So basically this product that I have on is actually this lipstick from Essence. It's called the um, number 52 in the, in the nude. So this, it, it looks like this. Uh, it looks like that. Okay, and then this is how it looks like. Yeah, this is the one. So this is the color that I'm wearing on my lips. It's very very creamy, and it does like has a like glossy finish. Yeah. Yes. So um, I have several essence lipsticks, and let me just go through the ones I have. But let me just talk about this first because this is what I have on today. And of course, uh, after eating, you know, this doesn't stay on that long, <laughs> okay. But uh, uh, overall, what I love about this particular lipstick in the nude is that it is very creamy. Um, it is a very, it's a nudie color and most, how do I put it? It's something that doesn't make me pale. You know, there are some nude lipstick that actually makes you look like you're sick. So this is not one of it because this has a like pinkish tone to it. So it's a pinky nude. Very very light tinge of pink because it kind of warms up the lips or I would say it kind of like gels well with my very pigmented lips so I really like this particular one and the texture is more creamy than the others which I own which I'm going to show you in a short while so I have three other lipsticks from Essence and they look like that okay these are the other three okay this one that is in the coral color Basically all the colors of the lipstick casing actually correspond to the lipsticks inside. This one is number 55, Coralize Me. I really love this because this is one that is, you can see that I've used so much of it. <laughs> okay, compared to in the nude, in the nude it's like still at the tip, you know. Yeah, so this one is one of the most often used. So the color looks like that. Okay, it's a very nice corally pink. Let me just swatch, 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 swatch. Okay, so this is the color. Very nice. And this is also, uh, okay, apart from in the nude, this one, coralized pink and the rest that I have are actually more of like a sparkly kind of like lipstick. I'm not sure that the, the sparkles will be caught by my camera, but basically there's like very fine sparkles. So when you apply it, it is quite glittery, but it's not so glittery that you can feel it. So you won't feel it. Just that um, the finish will be more frosty. Yeah, but for this particular one, although it's frosty finish, but the the warmth of the coral pink does come off, and it's very very gorgeous, and it kind of like complements my skin very well. Okay, especially so if I'm having like cool colors on the eyes, you want to warm up the face a little. This coralized me is one of the lipsticks I always reach out for. Then the other one that I got is the 02 Sparkling Romance. In fact, this is the first one that I got from Essence. This is the most frosty lipstick if among the few that I have from Essence. It's a very pale purplish color. Purplish. Okay, so let me just... Do you see it at all? Okay. It's a very pale color because it's kind of like duochrome. You can see the color change. With different angle because it's so sparkly and it's very shimmery but as I said before it's very very fine shimmer so you almost couldn't really feel it on your lips 
and it's very interesting because it's this does comes in handy when I want to go for a very cool, very trendy, very modern look. So I really like this too. Um, when you com when I talk about the texture earlier, compared to this, this is very very creamy, smooth. This is smooth, but it's not as creamy because you can feel like it's um. There's some texture, just that it's not smooth. Okay, it's not the kind of like you can glide around kind of smooth. Okay, so some people may not like it and it's very frosty finish so um, depending if you have very dry lips you may need to have like lip balm over before you apply this and even the coralize me yes and then the last one that i have is the um, color in number 42 fairy tale it's a deeper color deeper purple compared to um sparkling romance i love purple <laughs> i mean honestly you seldom find purple lipsticks okay uh, this is the least used Honestly, <laughs> yeah. So this is how it looks like. Let me just kind of like get it on me. Okay, this is very pigmented as you can see. Yeah, mauvey mauvey pink, little purple tint. So this is number forty-two. Also with a kind of frosty finish. But the most frosty one would be this one. That is um sparkling romance. Okay. So these are the lipsticks that I have from Essence and I really love them. They do come with a scent, so and it's the same scent across all the lipsticks. Um, it's either you like it or you don't like it. For me, I'm okay with it. It doesn't bother me that much. And um, talking about wear time, they don't wear as long as maybe other lipsticks like uh, the lipsticks that stains like Maybelline or Revlon or even NYX. But I would say they really feel comfortable on your lips. <coughs> it doesn't make me feel like my lips will get dry because of them. Um, but it doesn't like you know hydrate them or make them even more moisturized or what. But at least it doesn't make them feel dry. Overall, for the price of like, uh, I know that it's less than five dollars. I can't remember what's the price now. If I'm not wrong, it's about four eighty or four twenty. I can't. I'll just list the price everything in the information bar. If not on the corresponding blog post. But this is a very affordable lipstick, and they have lots of colors. And apart from this, they do have several other creamy creamy colored um, lipsticks so if you don't like the frosty finish look out for those others um, those are generally in either very corally pink if not they are reds um, a little like bronzy brownish mm, what else but basically just check out the selection so I stay in Sengkang so I usually visit the one in Riverville Mall because that's the only Watsons in Sengkang that has uh, the Essence Cosmetics display so do check it out and um, that's all for today <laughs> uh, if you have any questions regarding the products that i just mentioned you can always leave me a comment or drop me an inbox mail leave me a message somehow i know you can get it you can get it across to me if you have any questions so that's all for now uh look out for more videos coming up because i'm taking part in the giveaway so there are more products that i want to share about essence so see you again bye bye